Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, like the video, put on your notification bell so that you can know when my up next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comment section. Also, I'm going to need y'all to subscribe too, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Welcome to my review of Love and Marriage Huntsville. We are still in Destin, okay? So we have Melody Mom arriving at Destin. She goes into Melody's room to sit down and have a chit-chat with her. Miss Van wants to know if how the trip is going and if Martel is acting okay. Mel said he's doing good. It's been a good trip so far. First time for everything. So my Van said, you know, some things could be triggering. Triggering. I said triggering. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so Mel goes on to tell her how Martel invited Letitia and Marceau to their house because they was in, what was they, Pensacola? So Mel was like, how can you want to invite somebody to our house when he was invited, you know? <clears throat> Listen, Martel felt like he had in because you invited him. He was so used to you taking him back over and over. He got comfortable, so he thought it was okay even to not tell you that they were coming. Well, not even tell you, to let you know they was coming without asking you. So Miss Van asked how was her and Tisha. She said, you know, it was okay, but I'm not looking to be friends with her again. She said, they came over, we were cordial, we played games, we had a little laughs, but that was it. She's not looking to rekindle no friendship with her. Martel and his mom is downstairs. They have a chit-chat. The mom said this has been the best days of her life. Martel said he feels the same. He says he don't know if this will ever happen again, so they're going to cherish the moment. Um, Martel's mom lets him know that she was really hurt by them breaking up. So they play a flashback of Martel telling her that the other girl is pregnant. Now, side note, I don't know how Arion get on there and say they use my likeness and my name. Man, Martel won't even mention their name. But anyway, she was heartbroken and upset, and they played that flashback. She said that they were the only family that she had. Martel mom lets us know that Tank, little Martel, let her know that mom and dad is getting along. She said he was so happy. And she said she told him she prayed that they always get along. Martel says he's happy for moments like this. He prayed that they can go on more trips together, but <laughs> you'll never know. Well, we know that ain't happening because you act the fool on social media so i know mel ain't interested in doing no more trips with you you failed at the task okay so they leave to go on their yacht trip for the day um they get there the kids are excited they're exploring the boat so martel comes to melody and says that you know the boat is nice i mean the yacht is nice and Mel was like, is this your first time on a yacht? And she, he was like, yeah. She was like, oh, well, welcome. And he felt like that was a dig. I really didn't feel like she was taking a dig. Really, I really felt like she was generally saying welcome. But he took it as, oh, what you trying to say? Because I ain't been on a yacht before. I don't know what nice things are. Because he ended up saying, it's not like I've, I couldn't have been on a yacht before. Like, Martel, you being, you taking it way too serious. So there was a thundercloud, so they had to sit in port for a little while. So Mel decided to get karaoke started so they to keep so that they could keep the kids busy. So Mel says to Martel, Martel, can we play my songs? Martel did not like that. You know, when I first saw it, I was like, all right, now she's taking a dig. But the second time I watched it, you know, to take my notes, I realized that one of the kids asked if the songs could be played. So she said that to Martel as a joke. But, you know, he wasn't feeling it. And, you know, I ain't mad at Martel for not, you know, being hurt by it. Because he still loves Mel and his family. I get it. Mel, Martel ain't ready for jokes. Okay, he ain't ready. So we go over to the Scott brothers. Martel is tearing up a fence and want help for his brother. Maurice was like, no, we need to sit down and talk. Maurice tells Martel, not Martel, Maurice tells Marceau, that Kimmy is going through breast cancer. And he was like, oh. He said, Tisha told him about it, but she said that it was unconfirmed or something to that effect. Now, if was it me or in the scene where Kimmy did tell Tisha, she let Tisha know that the it was cancer. So why would Tisha come back and tell Marceau that it's not confirmed? Unless she knew way before the scene where Kimmy told her. Because that's a weird thing to say. 
So Marceau in his confessional says that he's worried about Maurice because he's looking at his brother now and he looks scared. So he just want to be there for him. So Maurice um, lets his brother know that, you know, it came to him that he just got married and he's faced with mortality. And can I just tell y'all, the Scott's brothers had me crying, y'all. Like, they had me crying. Like, they be on some bullshit. But this moment right here, I felt... I felt the pain. I really did. Maurice is kind of blaming himself because he felt like at that time when he was trying to get Kimmy to go into real estate and to go out of nursing, become an entrepreneur, you know, they were changing insurances and Kimmy kind of waited and then kind of forgot. And he felt like had he not pushed her, she would have been able to take her mammogram. But Listen, I understand the what ifs. I lost loved ones, and you always like what if, but you know you can't. You just never know. And I feel his pain, though. I feel it. So Maurice was like, he's being strong for Kimmy, but on the inside, he's really weak. He says, as a husband, he feel like he's supposed to be a provider, and protector. He says he's a problem solver, but this problem right here, he can't fix. He says that Kimmy act like it doesn't exist, and more Maurice, not Maurice. Marceau was like, because both of y'all are being strong. If you feeling weak, you need to cry on your wife's shoulder. Now, I agree he could cry on the wife's shoulder, but I don't feel like he should throw all his burdens on the, on Kimmy because Kimmy going through a lot. Maybe he need therapy. I do believe they got therapy for caregivers. He needs to look into that. Then the Scott brothers stood up and hugged each other and Maurice started crying. Oh, Lord, I was crying too. You would have thought I was there too. So we back on the, the yacht in Destin. Tank is driving the yacht. They taking pictures. They dancing and having fun. Even Martel and Melody get up their little jig on too. It was a cute little scene. But you know, you can't do that with Martel. He take things too far. So Mama Van was like, it's really nice having everyone here. It took us a minute to get here. But it's really nice that we're all together. So Martel says that yeah, he agree, and he says that, you know, when people go through a divorce, a lot of people assume that it's the woman that was hurt, but he was hurt as well. And he also said that he would like for him and uh, Mel to be able to go places together. And Mel said, well, I ain't going nowhere if the behavior ain't right. And um, Ms. Van jumps in and said, well, I think he's saying that he's healed from what happened, you know, a few years ago. So Melody said, are you healed? And he was like, yeah, I feel like I'm healing, not 100% healed. He said, because on this trip, you took a few jabs and I didn't respond to you. And then they play this different videos of where he felt like she took jabs. Some of them I don't feel like were jabs, but okay, Martel. You showing some growth. Kudos. So Mama, Mama Hope come out with her drink, okay? She comes in on the conversation here, a little bit of the conversation about how Martell is healed. And she was like, listen, I'm sipping my drink. She she really don't want to talk about nothing serious, okay? She is getting her drink on, okay? She want to enjoy her yacht ride. All right, Mama Hope. And here go Melody asking her a question about, you know, did they talk when they were growing up about things that's going on? Mama Hope explained that she was a single mother. She ain't had time to play with these kids. They did what they had to do. And if they got in trouble, she whipped they ass. You know what I'm saying? So Mel was just basically like, well, did you talk to them? Because Martel was bullied as a child. Come to find out, Martel never told his mom about that. But Mama Hope feels like, you know, that would be whining. And Mel was like, that's not whining for a seven-year-old. So Mel and her confessionals say that basically she understands now why Martel is the way he is. Like, he really never learned how to communicate his feelings. I mean, that's valid, but, you know. She also said that you have to go to your past to, to figure out how you're going to move forward. And I can agree with that. If you can't figure out why you explode every time somebody say something, you need to go back in your past. Because it could have been something in your past that make, that triggers you to make you explode on people just for them saying something that you don't like. So I can definitely agree with you have to go to your past to figure out why you behave the way you behave. As a So Ms. Van jumps in and says the fact of the matter is it's nothing like family. Because to be honest, that conversation could have went down a rabbit hole. So kudos to Ms. Van for jumping in and, and redirecting this conversation. 
So Martel says he hope it stays like this. Melly says as long as you don't start no shit with me, it can definitely stay like this. And Martel was like, see, I got to keep overlooking with your jabs or whatever. Mel's is, Mel is laughing. But I really think she was joking. So Martel decides to put a dinner together for the family. And they get to the restaurant, come to find out that the, everybody else is going to be sitting at a separate table and Mel and Martel are going to be at the table by themselves. Um, Mel was not happy with that. You should have seen her face. She was like, what is going on here? So Mel, want, uh, not Mel, Martel wanted to have a sit down and heart to heart with Mel so they could see where they're at and see where they're moving forward. Mel says she hoped this is not another attempt of him trying to reconcile. Girl, it is. So Martel want to talk about the past and what he did wrong. But I can promise you, just speaking from experience and me being in a relationship, Mel told him a lot what he was doing wrong. But he ain't listen. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. I could promise you she told him over and over what he was doing wrong. So Martel asked her how does she feel about the trip so far. She said overall the trip was good. Outside of you inviting Marceau and Tisha. He says hush. He has a bad habit of telling Melody to shut up. Uh, and I'm sure she been through that a long time. But you see she said nope I'm not shutting up. I'm going to say what I need to say. First of all he going to say that that's her problem. Her bringing up negativity. Martel have you seen yourself on TV? And how you acted? Every chance you got once you got in front of Mel, how you was acting? Have you seen yourself? Have you? So Martel decides to apologize for all the things he put Melody through. She wants to know what's different from this apology versus all the thousands of apologies he gave her throughout the past years they've been together. He said that the difference is he understands now all the things that he did wrong and he's taking accountability. Well, finally, Martel, you know you fucked up your marriage, okay? Why you go out and talk about Mel this, Mel that, when you know you fucked it up? So he said Mel deserves a thousand ap apologies because they had their life planned out and he messed it up. All right, kudos to you, Martel, for the apology. But you always show that other side, child. So Mel is out on the balcony enjoying the last minutes at the villa, beach house, whatever you want to call it. And out walks Martel, his shirt zipped down. I guess he thought he was, you know, trying to do something, something. By showing his chest to, Mar to uh, Melody. Melody is so over you. Okay. So Melody lets him know that, you know, the trip was good. She know the moms had a good time. The kids had a good time. Overall, the trip was really good. However, she was very surprised that Martel had a separate table for them. And before she could finish her statement, Martel cuts her off. If I could give a little, you need to give a little. Like, what you mean by that, Martel? What you mean? So Mel cuts him off and was like, let me finish my statement. She says, if we're going to move forward in a positive manner, it's, we shouldn't be discussing the past. We should just keep it positive and keep it moving. She says that she should, we should, she told Martel that they should stay away from that and keep it positive. Martel in his confessional says that he wants to know what went wrong in his marriage so that when he goes to his new marriage, he could do better in his new marriage. Uh, that's therapy. That's not for Melody to solve for you. So, if you know what you did wrong, what you told Melody in, at the dinner the night before, if you know what you did wrong in your marriage, why Melody needs to tell you over and over again what you did wrong? Go to therapy and sort it out. He thanks Mel for letting him take the kids during her week to the Essence Fest. She said, no problem. She said, as long as you respect my boundaries, show respect. She said she has no problem doing things like that. Martel said, the thing is, we have to overlook each other's triggers. Martel, uh, Melody said, I agree. They both agree that they have to overlook each other's triggers. So Martel said that he want to keep continuing to create positive uh, memories for their kids. He said he enjoyed the trip. He thanks Melody for inviting him and his mom. And everybody heads out the door. That's all I got, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I'm getting it from the ground up. And I thank you guys for your support. Peace.